It's impossible to talk about Abraham and Mary Lincoln's youngest son without smiling. He was born three days after April Fool's Day, 1853. They named him Thomas after Abraham's father, but everybody affectionately called him Tad. Nearly everyone who met him instantly loved this unrestrained, high energy little boy who was determined to have fun no matter what situation he was in. Tad moved into the White House when he was just seven years old. Unlike his older brother, Willie, Tad didn't pay much attention to his tutors. Instead, he wanted to play. He spent his days playing soldier with other children, playing with his pet goats inside the White House and riding his pony. In early 1862, both Tad and his older brother, Willie, became desperately ill from typhoid fever. Tad eventually recovered, but Willie did not. The entire Lincoln family was devastated and Tad lost his best friend. From that moment on, Tad became his father's constant companion. Lincoln allowed his youngest son to interrupt cabinet meetings. He took him with him when he reviewed soldiers in the field or met generals on the front lines. On his 12th birthday, Tad held his father's hand as they walked through the streets of Richmond after the Confederate capital fell. And Tad was sitting at his father's feet during the final speech that Lincoln ever gave in public. After the assassination, Tad moved to Chicago along with his mother and brother Robert. Like he had been to his father after Willie's death, Tad was a source of tremendous comfort to his mother for the rest of his life. There was something about being around Tad that seemed to make everything a little bit better. In 1868, Tad went with his mother to Europe where he went to school in Germany and he became a serious student. He learned to read and write. He even became fluent in German and even conquered his speech impediment with the help of a German tutor. But when Tad returned to Chicago with his mother in 1871, he was desperately ill. His lungs were filling with fluid. He had to sit upright in a chair. And in this miserable condition, he probably was suffering from complications of tuberculosis. The youngest, friendliest, and most comforting Lincoln child lost his battle on July 15, 1871. Tad Lincoln died at just 18 years old. We're standing outside the First Presbyterian Church nearby the Lincoln home in Springfield, Illinois. When he was just two years old, Tad was baptized into this congregation. This is also the site of his funeral in Springfield. Today, Tad is buried alongside his brothers, Eddie and Willie, as well as his mom and dad in the Lincoln tomb in Springfield, Illinois. If you want to learn more about Tad, if you want to learn more about the funny stories about his time in the White House, as well as the stories of how he comforted his parents during times of tremendous tragedy, come see us at the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum in Springfield, Illinois. Thank you for watching.